Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing sort of what is now an old school video, weirdly enough, although some people still make them. And that is a how I edit my Instagram video. I get a ton of requests for this because I'm obsessed with my Instagram. Like, I think it's so much fun making it look amazing. Also a little stressful sometimes, but mostly fun. So I wanted to share the apps that I've been using and sort of what I do to make my Instagram look the way that it does. Because I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. Molly, now is not the time. Before I even get into the apps that I use though, I just want to talk about taking pictures in general and sort of how that works. Basically what I do is just when I'm out during the day, I keep an eye out for things that might work with my theme, which I know sounds crazy. Also, my cat is going crazy back here. Molly, excuse me. Okay, aggressive. So while I'm out, I'm just looking for things that might, okay, Molly, stop. So just while I'm out, I'll keep an eye out for things that look good, and then I will take the pictures with whatever camera I have on me, whether that just be my iPhone or my Canon G7X, which is my smaller vlogging camera, or if I have my big camera with me, my Canon 70D, I will take it on that. It's really just whatever I have on hand. There's a mix of all of those things on my Instagram. So now on to my actual phone. As you can see, I have this folder, which has pretty much every app that I use for my Instagram on here. I'm just gonna run through them really quickly, and then we'll go through step-by-step -step what I do. So I have Instagram, ViscoCam, my photos app, Facetune, YouCam Perfect, Unum, Boomerang, and Snapseed. So I guess the whole process really starts in my photos app and a cool tip that I want to share with you guys is the favorites button. So I have this folder in here which is basically photos that I really liked and basically what you can do is you can go into your camera roll and find a photo that you like and as you can see this one already is favorited but you just press this little heart down here and it sends it to your favorites folder. So the next step for my Instagram is putting them into visco cam so I'm just going to use a random photo as our example photo. I haven't even picked it out yet. I should have done that ahead of time probably. So this is the photo that I'm going to edit for this. This is actually one that's already up on my Instagram. Whoops. Um, so I just go ahead and go into where all the filters are and the filter that I've been using is HB1. Now here's the truth. I really am not crazy about the way HB1 looks when you start with it, but it's a good base for me to layer on what I like to do with my photos. So if I click it again, then I can choose how much of the filter actually goes on there. So I like to bring it down normally to around eight. And if you hold down the photo, you can see the before, which would be this. And if you let go, you can see the after, what it looks like with the filter, which is this. And then I hit okay. But then I need to go into further editing settings. Now, just my general what I do with a photo is I go into the exposure, I bring that down about two, I go into the contrast, bring that up about two, I'll bring clarity up about two, and you can sort of see the difference there of what that does. Now, this photo itself is super blue, way too blue for my theme. So what I like to do is a few things to fix that. Probably for this photo, what I wanna do is go into the temperature and bring the temperature up to make it less blue. Obviously, the colder you make the temperature, the more blue, the warmer you make it, the less blue. So I think that looks pretty good. And actually, this is looking a little contrasty and a little dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring both of those to one. Actually, maybe I'll keep this at two. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, great. So that's like the gist of what this is going to look like. Then I just go ahead, save it to my camera roll, and we can move on to our next app. The next thing that I put almost all of my photos into is Facetune. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just zoom in here on my face. Um, that's my face really close up. And I'm gonna go into the Smooth tool, and I just go ahead and run that over my skin a little bit. Once again, there's a little button here where you can see the before and the after. Um, you can also see like my jawline there is a little bit light, and so I might go in and fix that later. I'm not sure yet. We got that. I also am just gonna whiten up my teeth a little bit with the whitening tool here, not too much, and I'm also going to whiten my shoes because they are super dirty in this photo, and in every photo, because those shoes are just dirty. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good, so you can see the total before and after here. It's not a huge difference. I try not to make like a huge change to my photos. So once again, I'm just gonna save that to my camera roll. And actually that photo would pretty much just be left as it is now. That's all the editing that I would wanna do, but I am gonna put it into UCam Perfect so you get an idea of what this app is. This is a super weird app, I think, but um, whoa, that's my face at a really ugly angle. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so this is a photo. We can put it in there and there's lots of things you can do 
with this app. Um, for example, you can make yourself look more tan. So it just scanned my body and I can pick a new uh, skin tone to put onto my face here. Um, the only problem is it really only changes your face. Like my hands still look super white compared to my face. But in theory, that's a pretty cool thing that you can do. Um, there's lots of other things you can do too, like um, enlarging your eyes. It can like find where your eyes is, oh, find where your eyes is, <laughs> find where your eyes are and make them bigger or smaller. You can literally make yourself taller. You like place this where your waist is, place this where your neck is, this where the bottom of your feet is, and then you just go ahead and stretch it up. So you can literally make your legs look longer. Um, there's the before and after of that one. So that's a sort of fun thing if you want your legs to look a little bit longer in a certain photo. So that is that app. Um, let's see what is next. Oh yeah, okay, so the other editing app that I have is Snapseed. This one's brand new, brand new to me. Tara just showed me this one. Um, and so I'll show you an example of how I like to use this. So I really loved this photo. I thought it was gonna look really good with my feed, but this red wall back here really was bothering me. So basically, you can just click into the brush tool, which is really the only thing that I use here. And um, I click on saturation, and then I would bring it down to minus 10, which is like all the way. And then all you're going to do is just color the area that you wanna take the saturation from. So literally just right in here. And that's, that's it. That's literally the whole thing. As you can see, it makes all the difference with the way that the photo looks. It just takes away that bright pop of color. What I really like about it is that I didn't have to take the saturation away from everything. Like the sandwiches and the coffee still look really bright and saturated, but that wall back there can look not so saturated. For example, I did it too on the photo that you saw open before. So that was this photo. I loved this photo, but I just thought the green bushes looked a little bit too green, but I wanted my, my body to still say colored. Like I didn't want to take saturation away from my body. So once again, I just went in with the brush tool and the saturation and I brought it down a little bit, colored over top of those. This time I only did negative five instead of negative 10 because I still wanted them to sort of have a green tinge to them. And I think I even brought the saturation in my body up just a little bit. Um, that way it made myself stand out a little bit more in the photo. And that just made all the difference for working with my theme. So the only other thing in here is Un Um, and this is actually a, vi a picture planning app. Um, basically all of these that are on the screen now are pictures that I can like move around because they weren't posted on my Instagram yet. But what I don't like about this app is that when you post things on Instagram, they move as they go down the line. Like, you know, if you post a photo, it pushes all the other photos down. And you can't do that in this app. Like, there's no way for me to put this here and see what it would look like when I upload it and it ends up in that spot. So, to combat that, I actually, on my Instagram, have a fake Instagram. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but I have this Instagram here where I test out my photos before I post them to make sure that they will look good. I hear myself saying these things, trust me, I understand that sounds sort of crazy, but it really does make all the difference if you want a really bomb Instagram. Not to toot my own horn, but I think my Instagram is pretty bomb. I'm really happy with it right now. It's got this cool gray theme going on. I'm really into it. And it's all because of this. Um, it just allows me to rearrange, look at where photos are gonna go, see how they're all gonna fit together. It's just really ideal. So if you care a lot about your Instagram theme, I recommend making a fake Instagram. This one is totally privated. No one can follow it or does follow it. When I get requests, I just delete it because it's literally just for me to test my photos. And eventually then they just get uploaded onto my Instagram. Here's my Instagram, I love it a lot. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please do. Um, it's one of my favorite apps. And I guess those are all of the apps that I use. I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, if you are looking for a theme and you don't necessarily want one the same as mine, you don't wanna edit your pictures exactly the same as mine, there are actually Pinterest boards and Instagram pages dedicated to Instagram themes, how you can edit your photos so that they all look really cool together. So take a look at that. I've looked at stuff like that before to get some inspiration of what I wanted my Instagram to look like. So if you need some instant inspiration, you can go ahead and check out those things on Pinterest and Instagram, even Google, I'm sure. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. Follow me on my Instagram. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!